daughter's godfather. If I don't put him in, I'm in a bit of trouble. Hi, I'm Sam Saunders, and this is my team. I'm going to play a 3-4-2-1, which I quite like playing, uh, and also just trying to get as many players that I can in the team. So many, as always, that probably everyone says that they're missing out, and I'm probably going to get a few texts and stuff. But it's difficult, but I'll start with the goalkeeper, Chesney. I'll just spell it like that because no one's going to be able to spell it. Uh, Wojciech come in on loan at Brentford from Arsenal and the second he come in you just see that this keeper was different to any other keepers in the Football League and obviously he's gone on to play for Arsenal and Romo and his, his country and numerous games so he's played at the top level and you can see why his personality, his size, his stature, his confidence too loud at times to be honest with you, but he was a fantastic goalkeeper and without that he kept us up that year. Again, going to be very difficult. Right sided centre half. I'm going to have John Egan. John, fantastic player, leader, great lad. He's gone on to Sheffield United into the Premier League, plays week in, week out for Ireland. Was actually at Sunderland and went down to Gillingham and then Brentford signed in. No, I can't speak highly enough for John. Another one, see, he'd kill me if I didn't put him in. Really good mate of mine, Harley Dean. Leader, another leader, another character. These three centre halves, you'd, you'd, you'd feel very safe with these behind you. And also, you'd, you'd love a night out of all three of them. Great company. So I put Harley Dean, John Egan, and I'm going to put Tarks because if anyone can spell Tarkowski, then you're better than me. For me, the best out of three, unreal. Uh, you see what he's doing at Burnley, but what you see at Burnley is only, a, for me, 70% of what James Tarkowski is. He's a very good football player as well. Uh, obviously played for England. He's went on to play week in, week out and captain of Burnley. Uh, obviously out of contract this year, so it'll be interesting to see where he goes. But for me, pound from pound, one of the best uh, that have played in the Football League in recent years. Fantastic player. Right, so we're going to go right wing back, Stuart Dallas, obviously at Leeds United now, could play any position, 7, 8 out of 10 every week, uh, fantastic lad, engine could play four games in one day, actually finished my Brentford career to be honest with you, I come in, took my position and uh, that is fantastic and now uh, top boy and he says went on to play we can work out for Leeds and win numerous players of the year. He's a fantastic player. Another one, central midfield. I'm going to have to put Adam Forshaw. Another boy has gone to Leeds. Uh, that's when I played, I've seen numerous Premiership games. Fantastic technician of the football, can manipulate the football. Uh, been unlucky with injury, but when he's fit and going, he's a top boy. Top player and a top boy. Have to put him down. Johnny Douglas. Uh, Ex-roommate, teammate, one of my best mates, daughter's godfather. If I don't put him in, I'm in a bit of trouble. But you need that steel, that steel alongside Adam. We we'll patrol the midfield, keep balance, organise, then free with him, organising, go and let the others go and play. Yeah, like he's one of them leaders in the dressing room that he just wouldn't want to. He could patrol the dressing room and help the manager out. Uh, and that's a good player as well. This one's really tough. It was a coin flip for me between Jake Bidwell and Jacobson. JJ, uh, I put Joey in just because he set pieces, his he, goals, he scored over 50 goals. Uh, so he's going to be an unbelievable set piece threat for my team. Probably wouldn't like playing left wing back now at this stage of his career, but he could go and go forward, go and create stuff. Taki would look after that. And like I say, a common theme with all these lads is they're all top, top boys. Another guy that's going to play in the final t on Saturday who I played with, Alex Pritchard. Technically unbelievable, could take the ball in a phone box, left and right foot can go either way. And I've had to play two tens because of him and this other one, Eze, Eze Biro. These two, in patrolling, let them go and play. It'd be absolutely fantastic to see these two boys linking with each other because for me, technically, those are the best that I've played with, top players. And this one here, because of these are a bit coming towards the ball, I'm going to need someone that's going to stretch it. Andre Gray. Andre Gray, an absolute beast. When he was at Brentford, he was fantastic. So strong, could occupy a back, back three on his own. With one in the channel, stretch the play. And say, 
Yeah, they have a field day feeding off balls between these two. So that's my one to 11.